Hello people, Sham here again. I've got a video today all about fashion, uh, particular I suppose in Elden Ring. I want to show you five heavier, with the exception of one set that is lighter, five heavier sets. I, would, I wouldn't say they're heavy heavy, I would say they're more of a, a medium, but I, I believe that these could potentially be used in PvP, so if you're fond of PvP, I think these fashionable sets may also be for you. Now, I am in no way saying that these are the best looks for each set. You are absolutely free to take two pieces of a set and experiment with the rest of it at your own leisure, but I am fond of fashion and I figured I may as well show some of it to you guys. So let's go and get right to the first outfit. The first one I'd like to show off for today, I like to dub the Wandering Jar Knight. This one uses the helm as a jar, obviously. Wouldn't be much of a jar knight without a jar. The chest is the Depraved Perfumer robe, a little bit lighter. The hands are the Bloodhound Knight gauntlets, and the legs are the Bull Goat Greaves. Here's a quick spin around for you guys. Even looks all right from the back, although the chain does sometimes clip just a little bit into the jar. That's not a big deal for me. The gloves, as you can see, match just a little bit with the bow goats down below. And these are our stats for it. We have 41 poise. Not bad. You're shrugging off most rapier hits, I believe, with that. And a decent chunk of resistances. This one does carry a decent chunk of magic fire, lightning, and holy resistance due to there being a lighter armor piece present in the depraved perfumer robe. On to our next one. My next set includes some easily farmable pieces that are actually from similar enemies, as well as a slightly different helm. This one I want to call the Landell Sentinel. Uh, it uses the Landell Soldier's Boots, the Landell Soldier's Gloves, the Landell Knight's Chest Piece, and the Tree Sentinel Helm. You can use the chest piece altered or unaltered. I prefer the unaltered version, but if you don't like capes much like Edna, the altered variant also works very, very nicely. You get those really, really cool looking uh, leather straps that kind of secure your tabard in place there. Like, looks pretty nice. A lot of gold, a lot, a lot of gold. But that is a nice thing to me, to be fair. This one does boast one more poise than our last set, coming in at 42. And has a little bit of higher resistances, although it is lacking a little bit in that magic fire, lightning, and holy resistance due to us wearing cloth on the other set. On to our next set. On to our next set, and I want to call this one the Hushed Warrior. These names are subjective, and you obviously don't have to call them this, but I'm just making up names for them because I think it's fun. We are using the Mask of Confidence, the Zamor Knight set, the Lusat's Gloves, and the Bull Goat's Greaves. Quick spin around the character here. Looks not bad at all. And once again, this is a heavier set while boasting some light armor pieces. Coming in at one more poise once again than our last set, set at 43 poise. Not bad at all. You can shrug off, I believe, rapier hits and maybe a curved sword slash straight sword hit. I'm, I can't exactly tell you what each poise damage is. This one is a little bit weaker to lightning, but you do have solid physical resistances and a lot of fire resistance to boost, so not bad at all. On to our next set. Coming 
coming in with our lightest set for today. This one does not have a lot of poise, but it does still have okay resistances. This is what I call my old knight. This is using the Centrix hood, the Bloodhound Knight armor altered, the Vagabond Knight gauntlets, and the Nox greaves. You can see it gives it that, uh, that nice little skirt around the bottom. You can use some heavier legs if you prefer, which would give it a little bit more poise, but I quite like the look of this. And here are its stats. Coming in at just 23 poise, so it's pretty light. You're not gonna shrug off a lot of hits, maybe a dagger hit or two, but the resistances are all right. You're missing out again a little bit on lightning and a little bit of holy resistance, but Luckily, Holy isn't used that much. Lightning, on the other hand, is used a lot, so be careful with that one. And our last set for today is the Gelmir Worn, although you can change out the helmet to suit whichever one, whichever helmet you like. This set uses the Galmir Knight's helmet, the fingerprint armor, the fire monk gauntlets, and the fire monk greaves. It is a little bit lighter than our other sets, but not nearly as light as our old knight. So you are still getting that little bit of poise resistance if you're, for some reason, wearing these in PvP, which I really hope you're not. I hope you're just min-maxing, because I think that's what's generally needed in PvP. These are our stats here. We have 39 poise, so you're shrugging off a little bit, and with the Bogoats Talisman, that can go up just a touch. I believe Bogoats gives 52. Yeah, not bad. And your resistances are not bad at all. Again, you're missing a decent chunk of lightning resistance here, and a little bit of holy resistance, but overall, you're, you're shrugging off a decent chunk of hits. The helmets are absolutely interchangeable. You can choose whichever one takes your fancy. That is fine. Except the gold ones. Those don't really work, sadly. <laughs> but whichever one you like, you can use. I'm in my mom's car. Broom, broom. <laughs>